Hi, this is Dottie with Premium Websites and AskDottie.com and we're doing a live hangout today that is recorded and will be displayed on my YouTube channel afterwards. Uh, so if you have uh, questions on social media or uh, WordPress or anything like that, feel free to join the hangout and get your question answered. I do have a list of some questions that I will go over mostly pertaining to Facebook at this point and um, if you want to just jump in here feel free to do so so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna take a look at uh, Facebook for a second so this is uh, just a standard news feed on Facebook and one of the questions that I get quite a bit is how can I hide somebody from my news feed but still keep that person uh, within my uh, circle of friends and, and not actually delete or block them? And that's actually quite easy to do, but it is one of those kind of hidden things. So I'm going to demonstrate on my friend Evie here. And uh, Evie, if you're watching this, you're definitely not going to be hidden from my news stream. But what you want to do is whoever the person is that you want to hide, just go to their actual profile. So you see her profile here. And do you see right here where it says friends? When you hover over that, uh, there's a drop down menu that shows. I'll go ahead and increase my screen size a little bit. There is a chat box that you could type your question into. Do you see that there? It's kind of in the upper, uh, I believe, left corner. I'm going to go ahead and finish with this first question. So uh, when you're on somebody's Facebook page and you hover over their little friends area, you can go down here and choose or not choose to show a news feed. And that would hide somebody from your news feed if you're not wanting to see their posts come up in your own personal news feed. But it will not like unfriend them or block them or delete them. Did you, let's see, I see a chat here. Let me open that up. Did you have a question, Mary? I'm going to get good reading your lips. Okay, well, I'm glad that you're here. If you think of something, just go ahead and type it in there. I've got my chat box open, so I, I'll be able to see it. I was just kind of going over some uh, questions that clients in general have, mostly with Facebook at this point. And we'll see if anybody else jumps on here with any specific questions. So one other question that we get is um, how to highlight a post in timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my screen here. So now you should be seeing Facebook again. And I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my timeline. So whenever you want to highlight a post, and what highlighting does is instead of having the post use half of your timeline space, it will actually use the entire space here. And this is really effective if you've got uh, video or images or something like that. Uh, I went ahead and did it with this uh, notice of the uh, Hangout today. And so what you do is whenever you've got a post up here, you can just hover over here and click this little star and that will actually expand it over just like so and when you decide okay I don't want to highlight this anymore I'm gonna go ahead and just click the star again and it will expand it back down or collapse it back down to where it originally was uh, so that's how we highlight stuff on our timeline and it will stay there until you do that if I keep scrolling down I've done that on some videos that were um, probably about a month ago. Here's one right here. So it just stays there until you undo it. Which we'll just undo that one. Another thing that we can do on timeline uh, that we couldn't do before is we can um, edit, not edit or remove, but we can when we're creating our posts, let me go back up to the top here we can create an offer, uh, events, milestones, there's some other things in here. Let me expand this down. Uh, we can do questions where people can like kind of taking a poll where you can get an answer uh, to questions. 
The two things that I really like in here are uh, milestone and offers. And so let me just tell you what a milestone is. It could be literally anything that is important to you and your business. So you just click that milestone, uh, and I don't have one prepared to actually do today, but then you just fill out this page. So put in what it is, when, where it is, when it happened, type in a little story that goes behind it that may be telling why it's a milestone. And then you can even upload photos or choose from photos you already have. And what that does is it actually creates uh, a, a large space within your timeline that, um, like, let's go back and look at one of these. So like my second anniversary, I went ahead and created a milestone, put in a little blurb here, added a picture, and it'll just stay there as a milestone for your business. So how is this useful? You can uh, create, essentially, the entire history of what you've done in your business. And how that might be important is people, when they're kind of doing research on who they want to do business with, really like to know who the company is, what they do, what they believe in, kind of what their ethics are, all of that type of stuff. Uh, helps build your credibility as a business owner. And so going back and filling in your timeline can be extremely useful for um, your business. And you can just do some a little bit at a time, um, which is what I've done. The other thing here are offers. And an offer is exactly what it says. It's an offer. So you can create any sort of a, a timed offer and put in all of your details of that right here, put the terms in right here, preview it, and then post it. And what that does is it will post on your timeline whatever offer it is that you're trying to, um, you know, to get out there. And then people can accept the offer and they print off a little basically coupon thing that uh, they then can hand you when they redeem their offer. So some very cool things that uh, Facebook is allowing us to do now that I'm not seeing too many people actually take um, advantage of. You answered your question, Mary? Okay, great. Yeah, I'm talking about Facebook now, but I'm open to questions for any social media platform. Uh, so if you've got one, just let me know. And now you can read the screen, right? Me too. Let's see. Let me look at my list of questions here. Oh, here's another one. Facebook has recently enabled what they call promoting a post. And what that does is it actually promotes uh, whatever status or post that you put in. And you can see the little promote link right here. So how would you use this? Maybe you're putting up a uh, status or a post where you're actually like maybe registering for a class or you want them to take some specific action. You can promote that and what it does is it puts it in people's uh, news feeds that it wouldn't normally go into. And it is a paid thing. Uh, it's Last time I looked at it, it was $5 uh, for the promotion and that promotion lasts for seven days and then it will automatically fall off. Uh, I do believe you can set that day limit if you'd like uh, as well. So promoted posts is something you would want to use when you have a post that's going to have a measurable outcome, whether that be somebody registering for something you're doing, um, buying a specific product, um, something like that, so that you um, are paying to have that specific thing promoted within your timeline. Or I should say within other people's news feeds. Okay, now I have to think about questions because those were the only ones that were submitted to me. Turn my screen share off there. Uh, did anything come to your mind, Mary? I saw Drew show up there. I could talk about using Google+. Plus. Uh, are you new to Google+. Plus? Yes? Okay. Um, you know, I really, really like Google+, Plus, actually over Facebook. 
if I had to choose between the two and I could only use one, I would be using Google Plus uh, instead of Facebook. Uh, but most of the questions that I had submitted were on Facebook, so that's why I went there. Uh, but um, Google Plus offers so many more tools for uh, business than Facebook does. And um, I mean, one of them is this Hangout tool. It's a basically a free webinar. I mean, how can you, um, you know, not take advantage of that if uh, if the webinar is something that works for your business? And you know, I'm thinking anybody that does, it is pretty good to get or easy to get on. Yeah, you just click a link. Um, you know, anybody that has consulting that they do in their business that uh, maybe deals with clients that are uh, not in the same area so they need to con uh, connect and they want to actually see each other type of a thing. Uh, the Google Hangout system I really like better than Skype because it allows more than one person to come in. You know you can get up to 10 so it's more of a collaboration tool and uh, you know you don't even have to have a video camera to participate if you don't it just puts up your little uh, Google Plus uh, icon that you have there and uh, it's free we love free and with the Hangouts on Air I can even record it which is what I'm doing with this uh, when I'm done I'll go to my YouTube channel and this will be there uh, available for me to publish live on my YouTube channel so um, let's see, Google Plus. So you're just just starting using Google Plus. Have you set up your circles at all? A little bit. Okay. Uh, I have my circles divided out by content. I think people would like to to read. So I've got a separate family circle. I mean that's pretty obvious. They don't care about website stuff. Um, and I really don't communicate with them on Google Plus anyway. Uh, and then I've got, you know, like a social media circle, um, a search engine optimization, uh, clients, that type of thing, so that when I create content, I can share it to the people that I think would actually uh, want to read that content. So, for example, if I'm writing something about websites, I'm not going to share it to um, my family circle or my acquaintances or just people that I don't really know what they want to talk about. Uh, that way I can keep everything kind of more on target, which is one reason why I like Google Plus over Facebook, because in Facebook you get everything, whether you want it or not. Um, which is why the very first thing I talked about was how to hide somebody from my newsfeed because some of the people just uh, post stuff that I just don't care to read about. Uh, let's see, other things about Google Plus. So you've got friends and acquaintances and you know that you can create new circles. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else do you want? What else have you done on Google Plus at all? Or what do you have questions on about the platform? And I'll read your question so it gets recorded just in case the chat's not visible. I like how you were able to invite me to this hangout and I'm not sure how it showed up in my calendar but it did. Why isn't this available for other Google Plus event type listings? Actually it is. Uh, when you use the actual event listing, uh, let, me, let me bring that up. I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, so now we're looking at my Google Plus account now this is the one for my business, but it's the same whether it's a business or a personal profile that you're looking at. Um, down here there's an event tab. And what I did to get it on your calendar, Mary, is I created an actual event for this Hangout. And then I invited you. And because you're using Google Calendar, it automatically put that onto your calendar. which. I'm not quite sure if I like that or not because it could be annoying and confusing if somebody gets a lot of uh, invites and all of a sudden their calendar is all cluttered up with stuff they didn't say they were going to, which I personally think would be very confusing. Um, I kind of did this as a test 
to see feedback and you liked it it sounds like um, so basically if you were it, you would have got an email as well saying that you were invited to the event and if you had gone in at that point and said you were not coming then that would have been removed from your calendar I think it should be the other way around to where if you say you are coming it's put on your calendar but you know Google didn't ask me uh, anyway so if you if you have some sort of an event that you're doing in your business you can go to the Google events tab and create that event uh, right up here at the top it has create event it gives you a pop-up screen you can um, change this picture and even upload your own picture if you'd like which is uh, what I did for the event and then you just simply fill in all of the the form things here you've got a few advanced options right there and you click uh, what I did was I invited the people that were in my circles and I clicked invite and so that's how it actually got onto your calendar uh, and I think it works very smoothly uh, much easier to use than the Facebook ones uh, especially if you're using your circles correctly because like if you're having say you're a real estate agent and you have a circle full of um, that you have potential buyers in uh, people that are actually actively looking for a house and you have an open house event you could just invite those people because you know that it's a an audience that wants to go to that particular event so I like the events let me see what else you've put over here. Yeah, you've been invited to events that are automatically added to your calendar. Did you find that annoying? Me too. So I'm using that ex very rarely. <laughs> and I'm hoping that they fix that to go the other way. Um, the other thing that made it easy for you to join is since you said that you were coming to the event today, I went ahead when I started the um, hangout I invited you which meant that you got an invitation right in your your Gmail account which then you can just click on to join you didn't see the invite in my in your calendar until you said yes so maybe they changed it that would be awesome it wasn't immediate hmm the few times that I've used this it worked the other way um, which as I said I find annoying and it was pretty immediate yeah I saw your message saying that and then it showed up so do you um, do you do events Mary in your business it says no but I did a couple that were personal I want to do some for my business I just don't have a lot of experience using it it's very easy to use I'd give it a try try it on one of your personal ones first so that you get more you understand how it works a little bit better and then go ahead and start doing it for your business ones. When you sent that that invite on Facebook um, to everyone on your list, you had to actually check each person, and it's very time consuming. I mean, my lists on Facebooks, I've got like thousands of people in my list, and so to me, it's just too overwhelming to even use that one anymore. I'm going to take screen share off so you can see me. Okay, you've got, I need to add more people to my Google+. Plus. Yeah, I've been just kind of inviting people in as I notice they start using Google+. Plus. As a matter of fact, some of the people that I know through networking, hi there, um, I've been inviting into Google+, Plus just automatically because I know they need to get in gear and start using it. Uh, and I know they're not so I've, I've been kind of doing it that way as well and then just adding them into my circles as I invite them yeah you need to do that between you and me we might get some people to actually get get off their tush and get going huh well did you have any more questions Mary and I'm gonna go ahead and end this broadcast now so um, have an awesome day, guys.